2014 is already shaping up to be a bumpy year on the markets and it's just February. So what can we expect for the rest of the year? What are the top stocks and will the US Federal Reserve's tapering have an impact here? We've spoken with a panel of experts, including the fund managers, who made almost a 50% return last year. Already 2014 has had more volatile days than any day in 2013. So I just expect it to be far more bumpy. 48% for us was, was an unbelievable year. And with markets looking as they are, I think 15%, 10 to 15% would be a good outcome this year. We're not seeing earnings growth you know, from, from the, the big sectors. Retail, manufacturing, uh, tourism, agricultural, uh, mining services, these sectors, you know, continue to, uh, you know, do it tough. For us, it's actually quite good. I think it's going to be a stock picker's market and there's certain sectors that we like and it's finding the gems in those sectors. Specifically, I'd touch on US healthcare. Companies like WellPoint, United Health, Express Scripts, where they're actually part of lowering costs within that somewhat inefficient industry, low valuations, good management, good cash flow. The concern that Obamacare's had has depressed their valuations, and I think that's been overdone. Secondly, companies like Occidental Petroleum, which is the largest continental US producer, Canadian Natural Resources, which is a Canadian, large Canadian company, we think are well placed. Well, the main, two main companies that we like are Main Pharma, and we've held that for over a year now. And we look at the pathway over the next three to five years, we can see that compounding at at least 15% a year. Uh, fantastic management team and have got great products. Uh, another company which we've recently uh, purchased, Certex. It's a specialty healthcare company which makes radiology beams. So w we think that that company has a particularly attractive future. We quite like Technology One. And we've been a great admirers of it for quite a long time. It plays into that uh, shift to cloud. Yeah, a few stocks that we sort of like at the moment. Um, we've seen the banks being a bit weaker over the last quarter. You know, Westpac, NAB, you know, these stocks give you 6% yield at the moment. Gross that up and that's 9%. Uh, something like a Stockland with a bit of exposure to the housing market. And that's one industry in Australia that is actually, we're seeing some improvements. We spend very little time uh, thinking about the macro factors. Um, it's for us, it's all about the underlying cash generation. We've seen markets and asset classes all do very well all around the world whilst the Fed has been printing money. And so it follows to me that as the Fed withdraws from that over time, it's going to cause some dislocation. I don't think Fed tapering's had much of an impact on the US economy because that money that they've been buying treasuries hasn't actually gone into the economy. It's actually just increased bank reserves. I don't think removing it's going to have a dramatic impact either. Well, some great tips for you there. And such, 